Good evening, everyone. Reds and Expos open a four-game set tonight up north. The big road machine desperate for a win after being swept in Atlanta. They got plenty of gifts from the Expos tonight. Starting in the first, a wild pitch scores Al Morris in for Sean Casey, one zip. Then in the second, Morris produces again, but he turns his ankle, sprains his wrist as he falls, two zip. Tucker homers to go up three zip, then Vladimir Guerrero gone. That's a 31-game hit streak. It's the longest since 1987. Expos tied it at three. 5-4 Reds when Mike Cameron rips one inside the bag for a career-high 56 RBI. Five Expo errors got it to 8-4, and Sean Casey came in for Morris with two hits. Two more RBI. Astros, Mets, Braves, they're all off tonight, and the Reds get back on track. One game back now in the Central, 10-4. Going down the stretch this season, Vladimir Guerrero has a 31-game hitting streak. However, Red manager Jack McKeon, unlike a lose Expos last year, are in a playoff race, and hitting streaks do not concern him. Reds and Expos, we start with Sean Casey, top of the seventh, 2-1 Reds. He's at the plate, and off Dustin Hermanson, he gets a hit. Three for five for Casey, Reds up 3-1. Let's go to the bottom of the seventh. Guerrero has already grounded to short, has been intentionally walked. Just his third chance now to extend his hit streak. Really his second chance because of the intentional walk. And as the fans clap, this guy with the old catch. The John Bacabella model. <laughs> Preparing for Vladdy to get a hit. But, oh, breaks his bat and fouls out to Casey who makes a nice catch. So the longest hit streak in 12 years is over as Guerrero gets just two chances to extend his streak. The Reds have 40 road wins now. Michael Barrett with runners on the corners. To left. Brad Fulmer scores. Jose Vidro decides to head home. Dimitri Young hits Barry Larkin, who guns down Vidro at the plate. Developing situation out. We're tied at two. Bottom of the second now, Rick. Jeff Bloom hits it deep to center field. Jeffrey Hammond's patrolling out there this afternoon. A good jump on this ball. He knows the wall's there. He knows the track. He also knows that he needs to make that play. Cincinnati trying to get into the playoffs. Montreal just simply playing hard, as Jeffrey Hammonds did on that play. Top four bases loaded for Sean Casey. Casey at the bat to right center. Three runs come in to score. He clears the bases with a double, and the Reds go up in front by the score of 6-2. to two. Top of the fifth, same score. This time of year, you have to execute the little things. Brett Tomko up. He needed to get the bunt down. He did not get it down. Jeffrey Hang Hammonds left out to dry. Tomko's got to get a piece of that this time of the year for Cincinnati. Expos down 6-4 in the bottom of the fifth. Wilton Guerrero to the corner in left. Orlando Merced scores. Wilton Guerrero running for third is in there. Expos within one. Next man up, Brad Fulmer. Deep to right, Michael Tucker. Michael Tucker. Yes, can. Guerrero did tag up from third to tie it at six. Bottom seven still tied. Guerrero to Jeffrey Hammonds in center. Rondell White tries to tag up, but Hammonds guns him down for the double play. We're still tied. Vladimir Guerrero now up, two out, 6-6, six, six, and he got hit. Belinda hit him on the hand. Guerrero doesn't like it. You back yourself off. Belinda was taken out after that at bat. Belinda explaining his side of the story in the dugout. Bottom nine, Guerrero again. Two outs, hoo Vladimir Guerrero, a two-run home run in the bottom of the ninth, wins it with two outs for the Expos. The final score, eight to six. So Montreal has won four of six. Sean Casey, three for five in the loss. He's hitting 483 with 15 RBIs in seven career games at Olympic Stadium. Guerrero, one for four. And to do so, they send their most consistent starter, Pete Harnish, to the mound in search of his 100th career win. To Montreal we go. The Reds bats around in the first. Uh, Sean Casey getting hot now. Doubles to right. Larkin scores 1-0. Greg Vaughn driving home Casey. Things look good. Reds up 2-0 and still hitting. The number eight hitter, Jeffrey Hammonds, punishes an 0-2 mistake. Vaughn and Aaron Boone come around. It's 4-zip, but the Expos begin to come back in the fifth. Pinch hitter, Ryan McGuire. Tripling in Shane Andrews and Jeff Blum. Then Orlando Merced facing Pete Harnish. Oh, my. His eighth homer of the season, and we're tied at five apiece. Hammonds answers with his 11th homer this season. One out solo blast in the sixth. The Reds reclaim the lead at 6-5, but downhill after that. Bottom of six, Blum's long fly to center. Too far for Hammonds. 
Michael Barrett and Andrews scored the tying and winning runs. Spose add another, and the Reds leave Montreal with a split, losing 8-6. to six. Take a look at the wild card standings. The Braves own the best record 